but you know what? They always say for every president election and all that stuff, mm-hmm. our kids, kids, social security is going to be gone. And our kids, kids, we creating a deficit for our kids, kids. Mm-hmm. But we keep giving money away that we don't have. Cause don't you think? Look, don't you think? Like, if we continue to fund this and stretch this along, don't you think um, Putin will be like, you know what? Let because they already did some type of, you know, meeting uh, him and the With president who? of uh, China or whatever. They kind of got together and kind of got a meeting or whatever. But and I don't know if they, you know, let's talk. I don't know. We don't. I don't even know exactly what was discussed and all that other stuff. But I mean, just think about that. Think about Russia and China having an agreement and then even slipping in. I don't know. I mean, it's come on now. What you about to say? What North Korea, North Korea. So you get all of those that trio right there. You're talking about some World War Three. That's what you're talking about. Look at this. Yeah, we don't yeah. need that type yeah. of heat right now. Yeah, we don't need that type of heat right now. Exactly. And and just think of all if we're expending all of our money. To go help somebody else, if it did pop off, where are we gonna get our funding? If we got to put somebody, because you know it's it's you know it's tundra out there. If we had to go out to Russia and, and put troops down, it's tundra out there. So, do we have that cold weather training to actually deal with something like that? Um, and how are we gonna keep continue to fund this fund these uh, troops to be over there? Well, you know we're gonna we're gonna need funding ourselves. And exactly, I think I, but we're, we're, we're depleting. We depleting our budget, man. But we always can, we almost we always can print more money. I believe, but, right? Yeah, but family, but it's got to be backed by something. Come on, that's a that whole different drop. topic. Yeah, that's a whole to different backed. topic right now. If it's not backed by anything, it, definitely, it's not worth anything, and people will devalue the the U.S. dollar. And you know that. But I I'm gonna say this: another thing, having those. Two superpowers go together, mm-hmm. and then you you said maybe North Korea could sneak up on in there. Well, Man. you talking about everybody have nuclear weapons, uh-huh. and you talking about maybe putting people on the ground. They don't have time to put people on the ground. Mm-hmm. I think we might need a different administration. Yeah, <laughs> that's deep. I'm sorry to say that. We've been needed that. We've been needed that. Yes. Now. You know yes, that. You know that. Because what president is going to have to have the gumption to take us out? No, we can't continue to do that. That you got to be strong to say that and do that. You got, and you be have, about that. You have to. And a lot, a lot of the you know senior officials, they, they can't make that executive decision. They, they won't make that executive decision. We need somebody in place that's going to make that decision and say, "Hey, no, no, we're not doing it." We got things that we need to do over here. And at the same time, we building up our forces just in case something pop off. I don't even think. But if, if, but if we just funding them and making sure they good to go, well, extending it really, because you yeah. know Russia can just wipe them out if they wanted to. Yes. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know that. But they just kind of string this thing along, and we'll see a little videos of the Russian sh- soldiers or the Ukraine soldiers and bombing and uh, uh, what do you call those uh, uh, UAVs and, and doing yeah, drones, drones and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they're just doing that like it ain't nothing. Yeah. But we, And we're reporting over there, but right now it's propaganda. Who can you believe? <laughs> Who can you believe, honestly? Okay. But you know what? They always say for every president election and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Our kids, kids, Social Security is going to be gone. And our kids, kids, we creating a deficit for our kids, kids. Mm-hmm. But we keep giving money away that we don't have emergency funds because we have natural disasters over here that we have billions of dollars that we have to throw out because yeah. we got to take care of home first. Because if you don't take care of home, somebody's <laughs> going to come through that back door and oh, it's not yeah. going to be your home anymore. Yep. Yep. And, and cool. just like I said, with the border, man, oh, we we're not taking care mm. of the border, so you know they can they know where the the leaks are. 
they know where we can infiltrate it. Yeah. Tell you. So uh, support for Ukraine aid office in the U.S. public polls, man. I'm telling you, he's 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 going around negotiating, trying to get as much money as he can because he know he he can't win without support. Right. And and it's been a year. It's been a year. And if Russia needs, I say the only thing I was surprised with with the military and this from a military standpoint. Well, yeah. Russia is. A superpower mm-hmm. and supposed a superpower, but the way they went at it and didn't, you know, the first two, three weeks of that war, they looked horrible. As far as they, they should have seemed like they should have went and just conquered them like that. But Ukraine did put up a big fight. They mm-hmm. did. But for them to be a superpower, you know, or used to be a contender with the United States and everything, this should have been done by now. Even with all the support and money that we're throwing at them, this should have been done by now. About this, go ahead. So let, let let's do say, conspiracy, but let's let, go. Hey, look, look. Let's say, let's mm-hmm. say that you know Russia is just like, okay, you are gonna keep giving money? Continue, mm-hmm. continue, continue, continue. Oh, I just did an agreement with China. You don't know what that agreement is, but continue, continue. Deplete yours, because when we ready to strike. We're because we, I mean, you've seen the spy balloons. We got videos on the spy balloons. We got all kind of stuff. The we didn't talk about it, but the um, Russian jet that knocked down the. Um, I was thinking. The, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, those are just like little clues. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my and goodness. Yeah. This like is this that. is the this is the Pentagon. Yeah. When they uh they released that Russian attack. Yeah, that was Video Russia. Shows a Russian Su-27 jet approaching an American MQ-9 Reaper drone, spraying fuel and blinding its camera, says the Pentagon, See? which released the footage Thursday. U.S. officials say either the same jet or another Russian fighter approached again, hitting the MQ-9's propeller, forcing Washington to bring down the drone yeah, in international yeah. waters. It's not unusual for mm-hmm. us to release imagery. Mm-hmm. Uh, of unsafe, unprofessional incidents. We've done that in other situations. Uh, And so particularly in this case, uh, given the reckless and dangerous behavior and to demonstrate uh, publicly uh, uh, what type of actions the Russians had taken, we felt that it was important to provide this imagery. The U.S. said the drone, like this one, was flying in international airspace over the Black Sea off the coast of Ukraine, a claim Moscow disputes. We, this is a test. We can cut, but look. Yeah. look. Totally ignored the. This is a test. This is just this is just a test. I'm gonna see what you're gonna do. As a military man, I mean, we cannot continue to look like this because we're looking. We're looking weak. When has this? We're getting tested by so many different ways. We got the Pentagon. China. Re- yes. The Pentagon is releasing statements like that. What are we trying to get sympathy mm. uh, votes for people now? No, mm-hmm. we supposed to be mm-hmm. a super the the elite superpower. We yes. we need to act like that. I'm not talking about going to war. No, no, no. We use our mind, but to to. For these balloons and everything that's been floating across the United States, I can almost guarantee China would not put up if we was floating things in their airspace. <laughs> I, I know it'll be some crashes going on over here. Oh, man. That, some virus you won't you won't be able to open up with your word. Uh-huh, you, uh-huh. Something to happen came from the last take, people. I want y'all to watch this, but let's put America on a pedestal, okay? Let's put America on a pedestal. America Can we first. do that? Yes. America first. Let's go. Hey, baby. Roger that.